Dr. Jeremy Weiss here. I'm founder of InspiredInsider.com, where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders like the founders of P90X, Baby Einstein, Atari, many more, how they overcome big challenges in life and business. This is part of the Scubana e-commerce mastery series where top sellers and experts teach you what really works to boost your e-commerce business. Wes is nodding because he is one of these experts, so he's going to talk to us today and founder of Ezonomy. Scubana is a software platform to manage your entire e-commerce operation. Today, we have Wes Grudsian. I've been practicing your name for a few days now. It's, he's co-founder of Lullaby Lane. Wes helped grow the company's Amazon sales to over $7 million annually in less than three years. That's amazing, Wes. And he's also founder of Ezonomy, where he teaches the exact methods used to grow the seven-figure business and consults with large-scale sellers. Wes, thanks for joining me. My pleasure. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to chat. And, you know, since it's the Scubana e-commerce mastery series, uh, my question is, what's been the lowest point? e-commerce wise lowest point e-commerce moment uh business and what's been the proudest sure um let's see the lowest well, lowest point which it's, it's good we haven't talked about this yet and this was one thing that helped us clean our clean up our act on amazon we were doing probably about a million and a half on average of sales a year at this point we we f we we got some information from one of the amazon seller support staff about weights of boxes that you can ship in. Mm. And even though it's in Amazon's rules that you the maximum weight you can ship a, uh, multiple items in a box is 50 pounds, we had it documented clearly that this seller support person said, no, it's you know more than that as long as you do X. I see. We did that multiple times and they, they stopped our selling privileges, privileges for three days. Holy cow. Uh, because of it, they we could sell the products, but we couldn't ship anything new into Amazon. Wow! So that cost us like you know thirty five thousand or forty thousand dollars from one mistake that was even documented by Amazon. So that was a like an eye opening. Yeah. Hey, you really got to get your act together and be proactive and be super yeah. you know uh, uh, cautious on what you yeah. do with Amazon because it's such an automated system. Yeah. I mean, how do you even avoid that though? Because they told you this, and then you you followed it, and then it, the automated system basically kicked it, kicked it, you know, whatever verdict that was. You just you check and double check and probably triple check on what's going on. So yeah. we're lucky. One after that, we've never had an issue with our yeah. account. So yeah. we, that was like the you know get your get your act together. Kind so of. that's just a matter of contacting the right people to show them the documentation, or uh, you the you we were contacted by our performance teams that seller performance team at the time and said hey listen you guys you know we're gonna stop your account well, actually they didn't even contact us first they just said nope you can't ship product in so we had to contact them and you know then they contacted us back and stuff so gotcha. that was it so that was definitely that's low a low moment. moment yeah high moment is I don't you know it, it Probably the first time we hit five million, you know. In, in, Tell me about in, that. Because yeah. it was that was one of our goals again with that forty x, you know, the trying to increase our sales that year. Well, we did it. We hit it, and mm. in a pretty big way, and went pretty significantly over that. So uh, it was just nice to know that you know that kind of stuff's the kind of stuff works, and it actually creates tangible differences in your business. So what do you do to celebrate? Uh, you know, just I mean, nothing, nothing, nothing too big. You go to karaoke and like whip out <laughs> opera, or what? What do you? <laughs> no, that was you know a celebration among the staff. You know, it, it, it's yeah. not about us; it's about the folks that actually did the other work and put it hard and made it, you know, made it happen. Did so, your staff that, know that you were a trained opera singer or no? Uh, probably some of them. We've grown fairly, you know, <laughs> fairly fast, so. <laughs> Wes, I really appreciate it. This has been hugely valuable, and um, you know, thank you so much for for sharing your knowledge. Absolutely. Well, it's been valuable for me as well because it's it's not not often that I talk and talk and talk and talk. So you know, you can you know you can definitely learn something when you're speaking or communicating. And you're a great facil yeah. facilitator of that. Thank you, Wes. You know, congratulations, everyone. Check out Lullaby Lane and Ezonomy.com.